Hey there everyone, how's it going? Tarun here and in this video, we are going to learn about how we can use local storage to store our items in it. Okay, so me personally, I would not recommend you to use local storage for uh, say uh, the important applications which you are building only for toy apps or small storage and all you can use local storage, but I will not recommend them for uh, a big scale application or a very important application which you are building just because that it is not secure and also like see if you have a variable named count in your uh, local storage and if someone else uh, wants to see what you have stored there they can just come to your browser and they can just look at that count what you have stored in so there are a lot more security and stuff with that okay so this is the only reason uh, why you should not use uh, local storage in your website so not only these there are other reasons but the thing the point is that local storage is only as of now it's only for learning purpose and moreover it, it can be used for stuff like uh, storing like say the user id or something say for example you want to track a user okay you want to submit uh, you want to show ads to a user and track him by giving him a unique id then you can use local storage and inside local storage you will just store his uh, id and you will just track him wherever he goes there are also other methods like cookies and sessions and all which you would have seen in this course but otherwise uh, local storage is just for experimental and fun purposes so without any further ado let's jump into the video and in this video we are going to learn about first of all we're going to learn about count variable we're going to store it and retrieve uh, from the uh, local storage and the second thing which we're going to see in this video is about how we can uh, store our created notes in the in the local storage because as of now the problem is if i add a new note okay you see that it has been added but if i refresh this new note goes away but if you see in our sticky notes application how many ever times i refresh this thing doesn't go go away because it is being stored in the local storage if you want i can show you control shift i go to application and and local storage and you can see that we have we have this key as to learn which is nothing but the note itself and the body content which we have js videos and dom inside the value and we have a key of to do and here and another key i have is count which shows how many uh, how many stuff i have stored in how many notes i have created so this is one way in which you can persist your uh, uh, your notes okay so we're going to learn exactly how we can do that so first of all as i told you we're going to do the count we're going to do for the count variable to do for the count variable what we have to do first is first of all we need to uh, get the count from the window okay so instead of setting it directly to zero what we have to do is let count equals to window dot local storage dot get item of count now one thing here okay uh, there are two problems here the first problem here is that the returned count might not be a number okay it is of the type string so when you are doing count equal to count plus one and all what will happen is it will append one to it so it will become 11 it will become a string 11 it will not be a number number 11 or number 2 so for that what we need to do is we need to explicitly convert it into number okay that is the first first problem which we have solved and the second problem is that the count variable might not exist at all so for that what we need to do is if not count okay this is a way to check if the count exists or not we're going to do window dot local storage dot set item and we're going to have count and we're going to set it to zero okay we have set the count to zero so in this way we have actually initialized the count variable and we are like fetching the count variable now all we have to do is we have to go into the create note and we will be storing the count also and we will also be storing the uh, the note which we are creating so for that what we need to do is let us do this inside the 
create node from input function okay so here let's remove this count plus equals to one it is not the right place to have it and we're going to use it inside create node from input So here, what we're gonna do is first of all, yeah, as usual, we're gonna increment the count because you remember we removed it in the create node function. And here, window dot local storage dot set item count. And we're gonna store the count inside that, okay? So this is the key and this is the value. So while the current count is being saved. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to do the like window dot local storage dot set item and we're going to set the note title which is the key and the note body which is the value so we're going to set the uh, the key and value as note title and note body respectively so let us now uh, check our browser if they're actually actually being saved so let's do hello hi and create note you see that it has been created Control shift i application local storage and click on this you see that count is one hello hi now if we ha add another add another hello and create note you see that count is two. Hello, hi. Add another hello. Okay. Uh, whatever. I wanted to type hello, but it turned into hello. That's fine. So now we can see that it is working. But when I re reload the page, we see that no notes are being added. So that is what we are going to fix in the next video. So see you guys in the next video.